in 1972. In Los Angeles, California, Oscar and Evelyn Overton opened up a small bakery to sell their cheesecakes. They called it the Cheesecake Factory. In 1978, their son David opened up a restaurant in Beverly Hills, California, and he called it the Cheesecake Factory. Today, I'm eating everything from the Cheesecake Factory. It's the most anticipated restaurant of all time. Can you believe it? 250 items. I'm going to divide them across three different episodes through October, the spookiest month in town. That's right, I'm doing it all. It's like the Super Bowl, baby. It's the series finale, but the show's not ending. Yeah, that's how we're approaching it. Today's Eat the Menu, like every Eat the Menu, is brought to you by Keith's Not Too Hot Sauces. I don't have enough hot sauces to designate a factory, but maybe someday I will. Let's eat the menu. Cheesecake Factory. Now that's how you do an intro. That's how you do an intro right there! Now let's do it! We're at them all! Let's eat the menu, starting with small plates and snacks, part one. <laughs> there's so many parts of this menu. I think there's 13 categories with like 26 subcategories. There's 40 cheesecakes and there's other desserts too. And today we're at the Topanga location, which is sort of northwestern LA kind of. And we're in a mall. And the mall has construction <clears throat> and people. So it's gonna be loud, but you know what? That's what it's like eating a cheesecake factory. They're almost always in malls. That's apparently a secret to their success. The little house on the salad. First of all, it's beautiful. Now, I will say, yes, you're like, Keith, is this sponsored? What's going on? You're never in the restaurant. You're right, I'm never in the restaurant. Today I'm in the restaurant, but it's not sponsored. I wanted to give Cheesecake Factory the best opportunity to impress me, but I also wanted to have my editorial freedom. So I am allowed to say anything I want to say, but they're allowed to give me the best quality they can. It's a fair trade. This is sort of a thing people do in restaurants. They give you a tomato that you need to cut yourself. <laughs> I won't. There's some fancy lettuces happening. This ain't just your iceberg or romaine salad. This is like cabbage, this, this one, purple and green. Huh, wild. This is street corn, so it's got gunk all over it. We all love gunky corn. The street corn. Wow. It just smells like cheese. <laughs> the corn is very sweet. Yum. <laughs> it's very salty cheese on top. Fatty. It has a great lime presence. Get the fuck out of here. Stop wiggling your little hands together. The flies are so mischievous, right? You see a fly, he's like, <laughs> I don't belong here. You're only gonna live for like 12 more hours. Yeah, how does that feel? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> this was good. Let's move into these crispy Brussels. Let's talk about the ones on top. My goodness, they're, they're so green, but underneath, they're classic. The crispy Brussels sprouts. They're crispy. Well, those are just the top leaves. How about the bottom guys? They're good, very sweet. Brussels sprouts have really become sort of an appetizer candy. I could use more salt. I'm a salty little boy. I'm sorry, what? Because Vermont maple butter. Vermont maple butter glaze. You know where my hot sauces are made. Vermont. I tasted the butter as soon as you talked about it. I don't know why. Look at these little mushrooms. Little mushrooms. They're all, they're perfect. No, not Lil. Yeah. That salad's little and this isn't. Correct. Mm -hmm. I love that there's all this sauce underneath. It must be butter. Stuffed mushrooms. I have a word for this. It's called a goo bomb. It's when you bite in and it's just full of goo. And the exterior is also goo, but it's good. I want to drink the butter. Oh, it's sweet. Mmm. Oh, <laughs> I did not taste how I expected it to. How <laughs> delicious. It's a wine sauce? It was good. <laughs> that was really good. Mmm, I like the wine sauce even more than the mushrooms themselves. The taquitos with chicken in them. Mmm. Oh shit, that's delicious. Holy cow. <laughs> Damn, what is going on with that verde? It's almost like a verde and a chimichurri. It has like something else in it. It's delicious. It's nuts. Damn, that's good. And the cilantro, it's fresh. It tastes really fresh. They, they, I've heard that they make everything fresh to order. That seems impossible, 250 items, but these taste good. These don't taste frozen at all. Mmm. Dang, it's good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it's good, dang. It's good. <laughs> it's really good. Wow. That was delicious. It's sort of a famous thing around these parts. This is the crispy avocado taco. It's beautiful. What is this little wrapper? Is that radish? Jicama. Jicama? Jicama. Okay, 
It's okay. It don't I also called it jacama the first time I saw it. <laughs> it's jicama. This is a big heckin' slice of jicama. It seems like it could be another goo bomb. Let's find out. I get it. It's good. It's not as good as the taquitos. Still gobble them up. We're just sort of sawing some stuff in the other room. Don't mind that. Oh, the size of this ranch makes me so happy. Look at this carafe of ranch. This is ranch for four. I love what they've done. Uh, wow. What are you? Little popcorn bang bang chicken? Uh, what is it? Korean fried cauliflower. Korean fried cauliflower? Looks like chicken to me. Korean cauliflower with ranch? Now that is cross culture. That is two cultures coming together. The Korean cauliflower things. They're so right on with the ranch because it's sweet as hell. Wow. It's very low spice, but it has a great flavor of spice. You know why people like appetizers? Because they're sweet, they're salty, they're fatty. They're at the top of the meal. You're at your hungriest. You sit down, you just start shoveling fried sugar in your mouth and you feel good. And now it's time for Small Plates and Snacks Part 2. And joining me for the part two is Marissa. She hasn't slept all night. Yay! She was up on a shoot. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Marissa. Hey, there's no delicate way to get into a ambled, booth. Ugh. Like a child learning to walk yeah. and crawl at the same time. How's it going? I came straight here from a night shoot, so I am delirious. Yeah. And I don't think there's a better way to spend uh, a morning. Well, your experience right now is probably how it feels most likely for me when you come on the show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Because exactly. normally you're at the desserts and yeah. I'm pretty yeah. up. Yeah. What the hell is that? That is, it looks cheesy. I'm sorry, Fancy what? I'm sorry, what? Hold on, let me look at the menu real quick. <clears throat> it could be uh, fried zucchini, it could be uh, uh, crispy fried cheese. Wow, I thought you were joking. It's crispy fried cheese. I would love a lacne, please. <laughs> the, crispy, the crispy fried cheese, it's sagging. It's good, it's good, but it's still crispy, okay. I'll never poop again. Wow, you want one of these? No, I'm good. You can handle it? I can handle all the milk. I need two for that bite. <laughs> no, it's the chewable kind. Oh, God, I can't. I can't, the chewable and the vanilla flavored and it's so bad. No. Oh, no. No, no, no. Yeah, it's like, it's a lot of cheese for, you know, a mozzarella stick. And maybe it's not mozzarella. I assume it is, but it's called fried it, cheese. It tastes like more than just mozzarella. It's mozzarella and fontina. And Fontina. Tina. I've never been. That's okay, a place, right? Tina. We have Fontina. There's lame Tinas and there's Fontinas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a Fontina. Cheap. The beet salad. And avocados in it, too. Ooh, good <laughs> Whoa. texture. Wait. Oh my god, what's happening? So many things are happening. It's really salty and tart. Like licking the edge of a margarita. Yeah. And then you got that crunch. Mm hmm. The, the quinoa is awesome. That's good. The quinoa is really good. The crisp good. on it. I've never had quinoa so crispy. Me neither. I hate the arugula. I hate arugula. Well, I think people should start doing a trend where they eat a salad at Cheesecake Factory and then they cover themselves in salad in the parking lot, passed out. <laughs> That's what the people in the Grimace shake. Remember? Oh, right. That was a trend. Yeah. The kids have some funny trends nowadays. You should just be dancing. Now it's vomiting in the parking lot. They look like little crab bites. They could be. They're crispy crab bites. All right, I'm allergic to crab. Can I, you sit by me while I eat them? I, of course, will sit by you. It won't make your skin get, it's even if I breathe on you? Please breathe on me, Keith. I'd love that. Well, I'm just making sure. What happened to you, asphyxiate? I immediately projectile vomit. That, so we just talked about the kid trends. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's just me having the crispy little crab bites. That is a goo bomb. Goo bomb, goo bomb. It's Mar -mar. gooey in there. Mm, it tastes that bad, it's gooey. Is it crispy enough? The outside, the outside is crispy. I think it could be crunchier for the amount of goo, but it was real crap. Oh my God. Oh, it was one of those um, Zambonis, I should know. It's a cleaning Zamboni just drove by. Very soft, but it's very crabby and tasty. It tastes like I'm vacationing in South Carolina and the bathrooms are fancy as f for no reason. <laughs> Sometimes those like yeah. coastal hotel bathrooms are unbelievable. Like you walk in and it has that, the sexy wooden grates that you can see out of but people can't see you. Interesting choice anytime, but especially when you're pooping. <laughs> it's beautiful, it smells great, the polished floors. Honestly, kind of look like Cheesecake Factory at those bathrooms. <laughs> the fried zucchini and a boat ton of ranch. 
This is just a vehicle to shove ranch into your face. Hey, you're in America. We possible. love vehicles, baby. <laughs> <laughs> mm. See? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Making another lap. Perfect timing. I actually love the zucchini flavor underneath. Yum. I like that even better than like fried pickles. Look at these spooky little worms. Ooh. Fried crab wontons with a little sweet chili sauce. I'd like the crunch of this. I was gonna say, with it doesn't the flavor look... of that. How are you, like, I don't think you can eat these without pulling them apart because, uh-huh. Mm. That's exactly how you eat it. It is good though. I love crab wontons. First time I ever had crab wonton was a Chinese food buffet. And I tried one. And you know what I did? Filled up a whole plate of them. <laughs> I didn't know it was just cream cheese at the time. <laughs> cheeseburger in hell. The cheeseburger spring rolls. It's like a cheeseburger from this morning. That is so heavy for an appetizer. There's no way you can eat this before you eat dinner. We're bang, so bang, let's about have it. some shrimp. You know you want it. Bang, bang, let's have some shrimp. They're in a bowl. I first had this dish from a place called Bonefish Grill. I haven't eaten there in a long time. I don't know if they invented it, but that's where I first had it. So that's what I'm judging it against today. <laughs> Bonefish Grill. <laughs> let's try the bang, bang shrimp. Cheers. Oh, cheers. You go first. You had to take a big shrimp. Thai chili shrimp. <laughs> oh, good. I've just been informed it's called the Thai chili shrimp. <laughs> Let's try the Thai chili shrimp. <laughs> bang, bang! Mmm, <laughs> that's good. Wow. That's good. Ooh, the heat, Oops. the heat is a slow crawl. Hits you later, it's not too much. I like it. I normally don't have a big giant armrest. <laughs> it made me feel like I'm at the restaurant. <laughs> Which I am. You just gonna eat that like cereal now or what? This is my breakfast. <laughs> a bowl of fried shrimp. Mm -mm -mm. When he poured ranch into it, it just made it cereal. Shrimpy crisp. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Part of this complete breakfast. It's delicious. <laughs> well, goddamn. Oh, cow. Have you guys tried dousing all your food in ranch? <laughs> this ranch is spectacular. Acular ranch. Yeah. Bummer, so what's going on with you? Nothing you can talk about, so. Nope. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for swinging through. Have a nice um, day sleep. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm so excited to be here for the, the this white whale of an episode, mm. your Super Bowl. yee <laughs> All right, let's see what's next. <laughs> I can't believe it, but we're about to start having appetizers. I have no idea how those weren't appetizers, but luckily I got someone to help me power through. It's Jared Popkin! Woo! Bitch is back, baby. Pop is home, baby. It doesn't even look like a cake to me. No? No. I don't know what it looks like yet. What do I look like? Like a clown hat. If a clown was dressed as like his name was Cakey the Clown. I'm ter I don't, I'm not terrified of clowns, but I don't love them. You know what's funny? Clowns, in their joyful state, they're scary. They're scary. Why make scary clowns? Why? You walk into a hotel and you go to the swimming pool and there's a normal looking clown standing in the middle of the pool. That's wait, a wait, wait, nightmare. Wait, 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 what hotel is that? We're at the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> Let's break some bread. This is the brown bread. It's not technically a menu item. You just get this, but it is food they serve. So we're gonna try it. Everybody loves free bread. If you're a restaurant and you're offering me free bread, you're already getting big points. If you're me. a restaurant and you have the audacity to charge for bread. Then I'm out of there, I'm walking out. You deserve to go out of business. Mm -hmm. Oh, I already started eating it. <laughs> oh no, okay, <laughs> the brown bread. Brown bread. It's good though. It's good. It is similar to the Outback Steakhouse brown bread. Oh, it is. But I like the oat addition. I like it makes it feel like I'm being healthier. <laughs> Let's buy the baguette. <laughs> What is the last crunch? I don't know why, but when we ate it, I put my head up like this. Like, I don't know what that was. Man, this is good. Listen to that. That's the baguette. Yeah, it is. God, this is right. It's got a good crunch, a good chew. It's a good baguette, bread. you're supposed to go, ha! Ah. You're walking around with a big piece of bread like a baseball bat through town. You're just gnawing at it as you look at old sculptures. <laughs> you're on one today, and yeah, I like I'm it. going. I what mean, it's the Super Bowl. It's the Super Bowl. I don't say that legally. These look fun. Are these like a pretzel? 
Are they pretzel balls? Pretzel balls? Yeah, They're it. so shiny. Now he really looks like a clown. I'm standing by your pool at the hotel. <laughs> no, standing in the center <laughs> of the pool. Oh, sorry. Waist deep in water. That's so bizarre and scary. Just yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't gone through this. This is something I've imagined. I think he's making a screen. I have a wild imagination. <laughs> oh, this looks so up my alley. My mouth is watering. Oh, a little pretzel bites. Who does your bread here? And are you hiring? I want to learn how to make this bread. I'm a mustard Ooh. boy. It's my Ooh. favorite condiment. It is a, wow. There's a vinegar sting in there. I, f whoa. Woo. That is mustard. It's real mustard. That's good. Man, with that <laughs> mustard, I need like, I want like a Diet Coke. Oh, can we get a Diet Coke? Please. Please, okay. Look at the tan on this bread. This is a good bread. This, this bread fell asleep on the beach for just the right amount of time. The warm crab bit. Cheers. Rich. Yes. Money. Lovely. Decadence. Order again. So heavy. Doesn't even smell at all. My God, like a fancy suitcase. Thick. This three, is good. three C's. Two Ks. This is some clam chowder taste. It honestly tastes like <laughs> crab chowder. Yeah, this is a chowder. Wow. And this, this perfectly crispy little bread. Mm. It's a crostini. It's this a is, This it's is all me. Crostini in a bikini. I can't, <laughs> dude. What? I want all the bread. Here oh, comes the Diet you, Coke babe. for Jared Popkin. Thank you. The Diet Coke. She didn't see it. Ooh. Is that a margarita? It's a signature lemonade. Ooh. What's in a salted rib? Wow. Seven-year-olds have it f***ing made nowadays. Honestly, all this talk of hotels and margaritas, it's I want- a sugar <laughs> We should go on vacation like right after this. I know, right? Should we? I haven't been to South Carolina in a minute. South Carolina? That's where I used to vacation a lot. I love South Carolina. Hilton Head Island. Cheers. Ta-da! Oh, it's sweet. It's probably sweeter than you think. Oh, it's very sweet. <laughs> I need less sauce. Let me try this again. This is clearly made for like, three or more people, right? Mm. Like I wouldn't get this with just two of us. If I had three or more people with my dip my plate, my table, I'd get this. It's a goo bomb. And it's more like a goo wallet. Mm. It kind of has this great fabric -y vibe. <laughs> kind of like how you imagine your dad's wallet might taste. It's one of the weirdest ways I've ever heard you describe There's anything. There's so much avocado in it. This is not an appetizer, this is lunch. This is obviously lunch. That's a quesadilla, this yeah? This is crazy to call it an appetizer. This is a full meal. This is a quesadilla with chicken. You can get it without. Oh, why would you do that, you chicken? Listen, when we would give this show to you, we do all, we go big or we don't do it. That's why we're here. And that's why we got the chicken in the quesadilla. Let's try it, the chicken quesadilla. Dude, our cheesecake sections have been hitting. Have mm -hmm. all of them been hitting? They've all been really good. Yeah? I know. Oh, it's got little green chilies or peppers or something. It's very good. I don't think it's like the greatest chicken quesadilla in the world, but it's a good chicken quesadilla. It is one of the thickest chick it's, chicken quesadillas it's I've thick. ever had. I think it's good, but I think there's other stuff that's better and more unique. Sometimes when you're on this show, you almost forget that you're wearing a K-Cat. Is a cannoli a taquito? Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Wait, a taquito is a... <gasps> It's a cannoli. It's a taquito. A taquito is a cannoli is a taquito. Holy cannoli! <laughs> ahi poke nachos. Ah, tuna poke nachos. Ahi poke nachos. Love nachos and I love ahi tuna. Oh, this hits. Mmm. It's like a good sweetness. Sesame. A good savory. Mm-hmm. God! Yeah, good crunch. Good velvety texture. Little bit of heat. Nice sesame flavor. Chewy gooey like tuna is. Do you know how big a tuna is? I mean, They're unbelievably large. Can't they be like 400 pounds? They're gargantuan. You don't think, you think a tuna must be this little old fish because we eat it out of cans. No, they are like dolphin sized. I would never want to meet a tuna in the middle of a pool at a hotel. <laughs> Especially if it was hanging out with a clap. <laughs> it was standing up waist deep. Yeah. Let's have whatever this lasagna is. Quick, Jared, we got to speed it up. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm having so much fun. I know, I'm having fun too. What the I'm hell sorry. is this? Meatballs with fried basil? Fried basil? This looks like a Christmas decoration. <laughs> what? It looks like you get it from Michael's. Cheers. Cheers. The meatball. Tastes like grandma's house. That's a good meatball. I want more of the marinara. I got a lot of marinara. <laughs> marinara. I got too much of the ricotta. Pod stickers! I'm getting delirious, and if I'm getting delirious, Keith is losing his mind. These look beautiful. Chicken pot pie pocket stickers. Pocket po stickers. Pocket, pocket monsters. stickers. Pokemon. This is beyond. <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> we can't do this all You don't want to play we this game, this Jared. Right. I, I know I'm going to lose 100%. <laughs> yeah, we've had a lot of pot stickers. We've had a lot of pot. We've used a lot of stickers. That's a really good point. We've done all three of those yeah. things. I can't imagine coming blazed out of your mind to a 
to a Cheesecake Factory. It'd be impossible to decide what to get. I live that life, and, and it's out fun. Of your mind. I'd be so overwhelmed. You just gotta constantly remind yourself, take a breath, don't overthink take it. Take a breath, take a chance. Hold on to a cheesecake. Hold on, what song is that? <laughs> it's like Hillary Duff or something. Yeah. It's like Hillary Duff? It's it, yeah. definitely Hillary Duff. It's like her. Okay, let's try the chicken pot sticker. All right, pot Hillary stickers, Duff. let's go. No, you gotta be f***ing me right now. There's no way we have to deal with this. It is the Super Bowl. Is this because they didn't know it was Hillary Duff? Quick, we're gonna go before the kids are out. <laughs> guys, you guys are gonna get go. arrested for not knowing Hillary Duff. Go! Roadside sliders. The roadside The road sliders. I gotta still eat the pot sticker. It's a little cheeseburger. It's better than White Castle. We this got it. Like <laughs> it's just a test? Are we passing? It's not a bad thing that sliders taste like good normal cheeseburgers. Yeah, no, that's true. Normally sliders are a little disappointing. These taste like good little cheeseburgers. These taste like actual hamburgers. Kelly Clarkson. Oh. Awesome. Breakaway. I, I, you know, I was singing that and then I switched to Hold On for One More Day. I just sort of like combined a couple songs. Well, I was making a new song. He was doing a remix. Yeah, I'm DJ a DJ. Key. DJ. DJ Keith, live at the Cheesecake Factory. Tex-Mex egg rolls. Ba -da -da. Tastes like corn and beans. And it's spicy. It's spicy. Holy f That's spicy uh, what, Did I put that? I'd only put like a drop on there. Was, or is this spicy by itself? No, are there jalapenos in this? Um, Aha. I like a spice. I right, one little bite. My mouth is on fire. I like it. Well, not on fire, but you know. Hit me. I'm gonna try my signature lime iron. Go for it, buddy. That's sugar. <laughs> I like lemonade. Jesus Almost Christ. lost it. Almost lost it. What are you, spicy tuna guys? What are you? Spicy you tuna good, on a crispy rectangle. Spicy tuna on a crispy rectangle. Crispy sushi rice, spicy tuna. Boop. Oh, it's so sweet. I like a sweet and savory and a crunch. That's my that's my favorite profile. It's got a lot of ponzu going on. I've never had this as a sweet dish. It's only spicy, savory, crunchy. What are these? Oh, these are the fried mac and cheese balls. Ooh. Infamous. Big balls of mac and cheese, breaded and fried and served to me. Oh, look at the inside. Are you gonna go all at one like that? You're no, I'm not putting the whole thing in okay. my mouth. Or am I? Audience, I can. But he shouldn't. I can't, everyone's nodding. I can't he believe, I don't, normally, can. normally everyone's got my back, but everybody's like, keep doing it. I'm like, he okay, I should Peer pressure works. Let's have the mac and cheese ball. <laughs> How is it? It's good. <laughs> it tastes like mac and cheese. Wow. I told you I could do it. That was a big bite. <laughs> I really like this. This like, might be one of my favorite things we've tried. Today. It's delicious. Yeah. I love the pink marinara. It almost has like a popcorn taste to it. And it looks like a delicate snowfall hit the top of each one. Well, what else is new with you, Jared? Working on a sketch show. You'll see it soon. Can't tell you more than that. Papadesigns.com. Go get your swag. Guys, super excited to announce your boy, who cannot cook or bake, is on without a recipe. Cheer popkin, everybody. Keep Habersberger, everybody. Papa. Go back home, Papa. See you later, son. The bitch is gone. The bitch is gone. Papa's headed home. Let's see what's next. I guess it's more appetizers. It's time for appetizers part two, and adding two parts to this table gives you Lou Burger. Oh, Huey whoa. and Alex. Hey. Huey and hey. Alex. It's time, time for, for everyone's, everyone's favorite, favorite segment. segment. Alex, Alex brought, brought some cookies, cookies to the, the all you can, can eat. eat. Eating the, the menu, menu time. time. Wow, Huey, you got it right this time. Oh, oh, it's a cheesecake. It's a creme brulee cheesecake. Oh my god, you brought me a cheesecake? Yeah, man, they don't make creme brulee cheesecake here, so I thought, I'm gonna make one. Here it is, try it. He butane it in the car. I sure did. You did? I yeah. Did. It smells like cheesecake. Well, yeah. I'm just What else? You. I'm just describing it for the audience. Let's try the creme brulee cake. Oh, I love the crunchy sugar on top. Mm. Lally Lula, you got done yourself. Is there a vanilla bean in here? Mm-hmm. I used vanilla bean paste instead of vanilla extract. Yeah, no, it's, it, it tastes much better, and I see the little specks. That's a damn fine cheesecake, Lally Lou. Wow. You've done it. Hey, Cheesecake Factory. You've fucking done it. It's time for nachos, da da da. It's time for football, ba da da. It's time for glory. There's almost 3,000 calories here. On this plate? Uh -huh, I believe it's 2,995 calories or something, Where? something close to that. Let's try the nachos. That's good nachos. I could watch a football game. Give it a crunch, Allie. Oh! oh 
satisfying. Mm. Iwin was trying to do his best impression wow. of a football. It was oh. good. Gosh, I'm parched. I wonder if there was a fun drink I could have right now. Oh, well, this tortilla soup. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Look at these. What am I having? Georgia, Georgia peach. And this is the pineapple. Mustaws. Pineapple yesterday. Yo. You should call it the pineapple yesterday. Everybody watching this, I want you, if you're drinking age, Oh, next time you go to Cheesecake Factory, I want you to order this drink and refuse to call it anything but the pineapple yesterday. Let's make a difference. Come on. I need to have a lasting impact on these places. And oh. nobody's ever been like, this is the key. So I'm, I'm not even asking for the key. I'm asking for this to be called pineapple yesterday. The look that I'm about to do is the look on all of the Cheesecake Factory marketing team's faces. <laughs> <laughs> the, pineapple the pineapple yesterday. Pineapple yesterday. No. Oh! No, not for me. I was owie, owie. so excited for Alex to try Mezcal. I'll tell you, I wish I did drink this yesterday. <laughs> Allie Lou! Oh. All right, let's try the Georgia Peach. Yum. Wow. Holy cannoli. Oh, you know what? That's good alcohol. That is good. I don't that's drink alcohol. alcohol. That's, that's good delicious. alcohol, let me tell you. Wow. Let's try the little guys. Calamari! Salty. Mm. Tasty. Mmm, yeah, me. I mean, Very any crunchy. excuse to have tartar sauce is a good excuse we for me. We love it. It's salty. Salty satisfying. Salty like the sea. The Mexican soup. All right. Ooh. Arriba. That All is right. delicious. It's pretty good. I love this. It's fine. I think it's fine. I like the tortilla taste. That's kind of like appropriate level of tartness and heat and it's good. I think it's great. I actually like this kind of better than tortilla soup because it's not as spicy. <laughs> okay, let's have some lettuce wraps. Can you grab the other lettuce wraps? Since we have shrimp lettuce wraps, we have avocado lettuce wraps. They're oh, wow. essentially the same, so let's try them together. Oh, and you do it yourself. You do it yourself, uh, which I love. The reason I come to a restaurant, to make my own food. So we got tamarind cashew, a peanut sauce, a sweet chili. All right, the lettuce wraps, which pair perfectly with pineapple yesterday. Healthy never tasted so good. Wow. Oh, it's so healthy. Wow. I mean, it's delicious though. Wow. If you I... love sauces like me, this is an yeah. excellent opportunity. It's sauce. Like I'm gonna be after a few pineapple yesterday. It's interesting having noodles in a lettuce cup. Let's have the skinny lettuce lettuce. This thing is gargantuan. I How know, is this skinny? This is fat. <laughs> this thing is huge. It's like a big mouth bass staring right in your face. <laughs> skinny delicious. Well, they built that differently than I did. Mm -hmm. A mouthful of noodles. Their noodle proportion versus mine, different. It's good, it tastes the same. Um, but I do like the ease. For the lazy person that's not saying anything about you, maybe you just don't have time. Or if you're like me and you just want your own choice of what you're intaking. Yeah. All right, here come the chips. Bum, ba -da bum, 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 bum. Chips. Is this the spinach and artichoke dips? Hot spinach and cheese thing. All right, hot spinach and cheese dip. Yep. That's, that's a salty dip. It's good. That's a cheesy dip. I mean, it's oh just a God. delicious mush of spinach and cream. So salty. It's like pouring salt right on my tongue. Mm. Oh my God. Mm, I do love a little salt to the tongue. This is too much salt. There's probably salt just floating through the air. This is a buffalo wings. I'm gonna try them with ranch. That's a good buffalo flavor. That's a good blue cheese. Woo! Ooh, that's a good ranch too. Mm -hmm. wow. Ranch is excellent. Wow. Ranch is. Wow. Have I learned nothing else today? It's that their ranch is good. Wow. I love a wing. <coughs> Cheats so hot. <laughs> little piece of hot just got right on my little, whatever that thing that hangs in my throat. Dang the thing on the back of my throat. Sing about dicks. I gotta say, these are pretty spicy for wings. Yeah, my uvula screamed on its own. <laughs> Cup of creamy chicken oh. dreams. Wow, that's got a nice creamy skin on top. Creamy chicken dreams and uh, artichoke things. Creamy chicken soup. You guys go first. You, you, you first, Huey. Beautiful. Bite. Now, Alex. Really nice bite. Mm. Now, Keith. Wow, that's really delicious. Is it interesting to tell you that my parents went on their first date here? It was not a cheesecake factory at the time, but they it was. Here. Oh, in this room. In this room. It was. Where a, did they sit? That over there. They fell in love there. Mm hmm. And I used to work at this mall. Anyway. This soup is delicious. Ooh, what are these uh, pointer cakes? What do we got going on? They look beautiful. They do. And they're in a little hammock. <laughs> oh, no, they're not. Oh, no. Look what you've done. Well, let's try our sweet corn cakes with junk on top. Holy mm. cow. That is sweet. Way sweeter than I was expecting. Like candy sweet. That's like a pancake tamale. It's like a jiff cornbread muffin. Oh, the jiff cornbread, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. Yeah, it, it's thick. 
Oh wow, and the sauce is very not what you'd expect to go on a it's sweet thing. It's almost like a savory, Whoa. sweet bread pudding that's Mexican. Zowie, that's confusing. There's a lot of flavors happening there. I don't want this. It's, <laughs> what the f is this? This is not an appetizer. This is fish. fish. Chips, this right? is the most fish I've ever seen on a plate. These are buffalo blasts? I'm sorry, what does that even mean? This. Audience at home, this is not fish. <laughs> I have thought it was fish this entire time. Me too. Buffalo blasts? With cheese and chicken. Buffalo Blasts. Interesting name. Whoa. That's a good way to eat buffalo chicken. It's like a chicken stuffed chicken strip. Wow. Wow. The breading itself tastes like the breading on a chicken strip. And on the inside is diced up chicken wow. and buffalo. All right, Burger, what's going on with you? Well, we are going on tour. <laughs> Alex, tell them all about it. That's right. We're going all over the place. We're going to Illinois. We're going to Illinois. We're going to Minneapolis. We're going to Minneapolis. We're Go gonna... buy tickets to that one, please. Also, uh, check the channel because the, the Lou Burger documentary about our journey doing the Wizard of Friendship is either on the channel right now or it's on the channel in the next release. So make sure you come back or already are here and watch that video. There you go. <laughs> well, thanks, Lou Burger. It's been a treat having you. Hey, man. Thank you. Oh, a treat. It's been a cheese having you, cake. Factory. Wow. I was going to do a factory thing, but then Huey ended up saying factory. Well, it's hard. I was just staring Jared Bobkin in the face for most of that, and it just. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. Thanks for coming oh, by. Everybody. We'll see you, man. You got to go. I'm you going to go. go. You got to go. I'm leaving. Well, let's find out. What's next? Are we out of the appetizers yet? <sighs> now it's time for the appetizer salads. What's that mean? Appetizer salads, not side salads. A salad you eat before you have the rest of your food. So I imagine it's a tiny little itty bitty salad so you don't fill up before your entree. We already had a smaller salad than this, but this isn't the biggest salad. So this salad comes in three sizes because it was in the small plates and snacks. I bet this tastes just like the first time I had it. The tossed green salad for the appetizer time. I took this little bite. Uh oh. My bite was too big. It's good, it tastes exactly like I had it earlier. But now it's big, but not all the way big. The chopped salad. Chop, chop. That bacon is good. It tastes like I just took a bite out of a sandwich. It tastes like a ba like a BLT with chicken. I guess that's kind of what it is. With a little vinaigrette and a little bit of corn. A very little bit of corn. I see six corns, eight corns. Acorns. <laughs> Acorns look delicious, and I don't think they would be. I have figs that are growing in my backyard right now, and I only knew that they were ripe because I started seeing the squirrels eating them, and I only got there in time to have one, but it was delicious. <laughs> Chicken Caesar salad. I think there's actually a way to order these salads without lettuce, according to the internet. Do you see all this chicken? This is an appetizer. That's two sandwiches worth of chicken. Hail Caesar. A big bite of chicken. I think cut it up. There's so much chicken in that bite. These lights kind of remind me of Zach's pants. The chef pants. They're like chef pants. Zach would wear those pants. I think he'd wear his yellow and brown too. I think he would. Yeah, I just see the salad, all right. That's what they taste like. They nailed it. Anyway, those are the appetizer salads. Now it's time to move on to a little something, a little more something. What time is it? It's time to get some flatbreads with my right-hand man, Brian Wolf! Hey. What you got for us this time, bro? Oh man, Keith, I brought a special alcohol for today. Since you are trying the largest menu that you've ever tried. Yeah. And uh, tis the season. We're, we're entering Oktoberfest season. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> the Germans have a secret for eating lots of food and continuing to eat and drink, and it is Underberg. Cheers. Cheers. Underberg. Wow, well, it comes out so slowly. And it is ho, oh. oh. <laughs> It's like, it's like really hot licorice. Yeah, it's strong. It burns. It burns. Oh, I really wish it had a bigger mouth so it poured in your mouth faster. <laughs> it's so, 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 it's so burny. But it's gonna make you feel so good <sighs> Is so it? Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm not even done. I don't have half of it. Oh. <laughs> I think I drink it all. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Yeah, you're good. I don't know when this show started having everybody bring me so many gifts, but I'm glad <laughs> it's taking that turn. <laughs> well, it's time for flatbreads. Yeah. Good Lord, look at those motherfuckers. Yeah. Wow. This, is, this looks like a meat lover's one. Oh no, there's some, some vegetables. Kind of, there's, something on, there's something on it. The bee sting? Yeah. I thought you were, said bee sting, like he's bee sting out. No. Let's try the bee sting. Uh, hot. Oh, there's the honey. Okay. I got the honey right out the gate. I don't have the sting yet. 
But also, I just got stung by the boogie boogie. Oh, there's the yeah. heat. That's a heavy, dense flavor. Yeah. It is a bee sting, but maybe there's a better animal that hurts more, like a bear. Bear is also like honey. The bear bite. The bear bite. Well, I, it's, it's good. I would need to be hungry. Yeah. This is a 2.30 lunch. The everything. Brian, let's take a bite. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, I have to say, for a flatbread pizza, it's not, flatbread is not my favorite style of pizza. But it's this crust flat. is is quite perfect. I would argue it's not flatbread. Yeah, it's I think good. it's pizza. Oh, yeah, I think it's normal dough. I mean, look at the puff. Look at the crust. Yeah, it's not flatbread. You're lying. What is this one with the tomatoes? Sicilian. I believe. Patillion. Farfalla. I'm saying words now. It's like a margarita. It's tomato basil. Probably the fresh basil, tomato, and cheese. I think you nailed it. <laughs> this is the margarita, but they don't call it that. No, no, no. They have a margarita, and then they have a. Fresh basil, tomato, and cheese. Oh, maybe this what does. is the yeah. difference. The fresh basil, tomato, and cheese. Ooh. You explain to me what's on a margarita. So the margarita says fresh mozzarella, basil, and tomato sauce. Oh, okay, so it's this sauce one versus tomatoes. Is... That one has mozzarella sauce. Oh, mozzarella sauce. This is not mozzarella. It's got tomato sauce. This says tomatoes. See him? Yep. Tomatoes. Yeah. yeah. I really love the crunch on this crust. It's good. I have to say, I was skeptical of Cheesecake Factory pizza. But, but the uh, the crust is pretty damn good, man. Cheesecake, <laughs> cheesecake is a pie, a cheese pie. Pizza is a tomato pie with cheese. I got them in the same thing, yeah. the same thing. Yeah, okay, it's turning out really good. What's next? This is a cup and crisp for sure. This is a 12 year old's dream come true. Parents left him alone for the first time and he's watching nothing but whose line is it anyway eating pepperoni pizza. Is this a story of mine? Perhaps. <laughs> pizza in the bed. Growing is exhausting. Yeah. I don't know how you guys do it. Give me pizza. Yeah. Look at that cup and crisp. Perfect. Tastes like video games. Tastes like PlayStation 1. <laughs> I am gonna level a little bit of criticism on here. I think it could use a little oregano. And margarine. That's one of the secret little spices you didn't know what the f to do with. But yeah. I think this one is for children. Sometimes the kids, they don't like flavor. It can be daunting. It can be daunting. Let's try the margarita! <laughs> margarita pizza! Margarita now this just pizza. came out of the oven, so we might we might hurt ourselves it's here. It's so much cheese. Look at it. It's too darn hot. That's, that's a good signal that your pizza is too hot when the cheese comes right off. The mouth heals quick, but those pizza burns never go away. The top of my mouth looks like a fucking old wrinkled cookie. <laughs> Does anybody have a smooth roof of their mouth anymore? Like the front part, behind the teeth. Does it feel like a bunch of fucking rippled craters of past mistakes? Are we born with it like that or did, do we do that to ourselves? I don't know. Because I've been burning my mouth since I was but a wee lad. And y'all? Yeah. You got smooth? No. Pallets or not? Nah? You kind of think you do. You kind of think you do? I think so. Well, none of us can put our fingers in your mouth to find out, so we'll have to take the <laughs> word for it. Let's try the margarita pizza. Let's try this. Here we go. That was good. That was pretty good. That was really tasty. Tastes fresh. Yeah. Could you eat an entire one of these? I might need a whole bottle of lactate, but <laughs> I think I think this is sim falls similarly in uh, maybe a 1.30 lunch. You know, that's like a 2.30 lunch. Yeah. Or a teenager can do it. Yeah. Teenagers can do almost anything. Teenagers would think this isn't enough food at all. Yeah, they would They would do two of these. Yeah, they would need at least two. How are you feeling after that shot? So I'm feeling pretty energetic. I yeah, right? felt like it gave me some sort of liquor-infused heartburn for a while, and following it up with pizza didn't help that, but I feel pretty good now. Yeah, like I'm, I'm bright. I'm, I'm ready to party. Yeah, me too. Look at me. I could do shopping in the mall. Well, what are you going to do now? Well, well, what's what going on with you? Oh, I've been doing a lot of stand-up, so you can always catch me. Go to my website, brianwool.com, to find my local stand-up dates. But I'll be going on tour with Lou Burger this fall. That's so you want to you come see us? Come out. We're going to be in the Midwest a bunch, and then what, next year we're, we're taking Wizard of Friendship on Wizard the road. Wizard of Friendship's going to fly and spread its wings. We're going to be singing. We're going to be dancing. Yep. Give it up for Brian Wall, everybody. Brian right. Wall with a flatbread. So fun. Let's find out what's next. It's time for the third evolution of Pokemon, the salads. We got four, there's gonna be nine of them, but there's only four ready right now. Let's start with the one that they put a whole fried onion on top. Look at this majesty. This looks like it itself is one of those tall spinning restaurants. 
the corn is sitting together, the tomatoes are sitting together, the chicken's together, and then this is the little space needle. I haven't been in one of those revolving restaurants in a long time. They should really jack up the speed on those. Just once. Let's have this. What the f is this? This is the barbecue ranch chicken salad, complete with an onion. Mmm, <laughs> salad. It's the salad that eats like a burger. It tastes like I took a big old bite of a juicy ass burger. I'm not even kidding. Well, who could eat this thing? Not mom. Mom is gonna get three meals out of this. Now look at this. My God, this looks like a tray you'd bring to a potluck and everybody takes a little scoop of it. This looks like ingredients. Vegan cob. This is a cob salad. Just got dark and spooky in here. Is that the power of the vegan cob? Come on in, Nick. Ultimate margarita. Ultimate margarita, just in time. Margaritas are vegan. The ultimate margarita. It's good. Oh, I like margaritas. I love margaritas. You know I love my savory. All right, let's have a vegan cob. <laughs> I didn't get a single topping. I thought for sure that was gonna work. Let's try it again. Mm hmm I thought it was kind of potato. Mm hmm I hate it. <laughs> this is the least. This, I would never order this. It's too much, and looking at it didn't make me want to eat it because it looked too healthy. What am I doing at the Cheesecake Factory and ordering this? Come on now. I could eat a fried ball of macaroni and cheese. Or this, get the cheese ball. Toss this down the hall. Now this, mom would like. Is that Cornfell would like. This must be a Chinese chicken salad. Got wontons. I know I'm wonton more food. Wow, this is so much salad. How heavy is this? Impossible to lift. <laughs> it's unliftable. The servers here must be jacked. Chicken salad. It tastes exactly right and it's covered in the white funny stuff. Not so fun. It's got fried noodles, wontons, which are the same as fried noodles, made out of the same ingredient. Amazing. You can dig a little hole in the middle. You can put your margarita right in there. A little hole. You guys ever think about doing this? Could be a top seller. The Chinese margarita salad <laughs> with chicken. Now let's finally see the difference between a Chinese chicken salad and a Thai chicken salad. Oh, shit. Guys, I fucked up. This is the skinny licious Asian chicken salad. All right, so often we forget the great nation of skinny licious. <laughs> Let's try the skinny licious. What? How does this look any less or fat or more skinny than that? What makes you skinny licious? The cilantro? It's because some people don't like it. I, I'm not one of those people. I love it. Yeah, I like the dressing a lot actually. The sesame soy dressing is good. It's a nice, sweet, and salty. It's, it is very light, and the chicken itself is good. It's so hard to get all the food in my mouth now. I'm just letting it get as far as it can. This song it falls out. I feel a little bad about it. It tastes good. I wonder why this one's just Asian. But maybe it's not trying to be any specific thing. It's not trying to offend anyone. Rather would offend everyone. <laughs> this looks like Chinese food from the Chinese restaurant. Tequila. No, Sheila. Sheila. Who's that? Nice to meet you. I can't believe this is David's wife. Sheila. It's sweeter. Like Sheila. Citrus, honey, peanut vinaigrette. I've tasted all those things. Is Sheila still alive? I think so. Is David yeah. still alive? Yeah. Hi, Sheila. I hope you're liking my video. See, Sheila, I think your salad tastes good, but I gotta be honest with you guys, all these salads taste the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> they taste really similar. Who are you, you little devil? Is this the Thai salad? Did we finally get it or no? Look at your little chickens over there. This chicken didn't come cut for me. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a spoon, but we're in it now. Oh, spoons are tough. I mean, it's fine. Thai salad. Peanut butter. That's peanut. That's the peanut flavor I've been looking for. I found the peanuts in every bite. This salad is nuts. This has some peanut flavor. Peanuts, peanuts, peanuts. Are there peanuts in it? Yes, there are, Desiree. That tastes like peanuts. Do we like peanuts? Here it is. Let's have a sip of our salad. Oh, I don't want this at all. I don't like eggs like that. What is this, a cob? A cob was created in California. Did you know that? Los Angeles, California. It's the home of the cob salad. Here's to you, Mr. Cobb. <laughs> I lost this very Yeah, it's good. 
The blue cheese is pungent. The eggs are there. It all works and the bacon gives it that extra zazz you're looking for in a cob. I think it is a pretty good cob and it's gargantuan. It's so big, you'd think it would be at like a county fair as a record-breaking salad. My impulse is to smash my face into it, but I won't because there's lots more to go. But I really want to smash my face into it. Skinny delicious, so delicious, make the boy eat salad. Oh, it's heavy as fuck. Skinny delicious Mexican tortilla salad. I love the pico de gallo that's on the rim. I love it, it's beautiful. I love the tower, the height. Oh! What's under the hood? There's a secret in the salad! The salad comes with a secret tortilla! This is like getting cereal with a prize in it. This is a fun salad. Oh! I can't believe there was a prize underneath the salad. The thing is, like, if I got all the way through my salad and had this last, this is the heaviest part of the salad. That was fun. I'm, I got a new, new life in me. That's good. I like that one the most. Santa Fe salad. I already have so many different dressings here. It's got peanuts, but <laughs> not like that other one did. It's good. It's limey, it's, it's zazzy, it's funky, it's fresh. Well, thank God those are the salads. That was, honestly, they were better than most salads I get from places, but they're so big, they're, they're almost scary. Let's find out what's next. I bet you've been thinking, when is it gonna get glamorous? Right now, mother it's time for Glam Burgers with my most glamorous man friend, Ryan Garcia. Woo! He's, whoa, look at that glamour. Let's get glamorous. We're glamorous. <laughs> Can we try it? Let, well, how are you? No, no, no. Let's get right to eating. No, I think that's what you, you want to do. No, no, no. <laughs> Honestly, I just want to want to bury the hatchet real quick with Desiree. I, I, a feud began. I don't want to say who started it. We don't know which side started it. Are you burying the hatchet right now, or what? Well, I'm getting I'm getting there. Okay. But first, I have to I have to hold my own. I have to protect myself. But I maybe came at Desiree pretty hard because I felt like I was not being respected here with yeah. the amount of foods I got. Uh, so I, I I appreciate you, I respect you, and I apologize. Thank you. I accept your apology. I have nothing to apologize for. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm upset again. The feud is on. Okay, let's eat these hamburgers Lady in the Tramp style for the audience. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do love it. This is the classic. It's got nice onion on it. I like that. It looks like a Krabby Patty from SpongeBob. It the does. Way that it's it like looks so too tall. stacked. Oh, here it is. Wow, that was so fast. Thank you. Now I'm doing a nice squish. One for me just to stab And then. Ooh, look at the juices coming out of that burger. Very well cooked. That's a beautifully oh, cooked burger. Oh my God, burger. it is gorgeous. Wow. Just like a medium. Almost. Wait, almost medium, right? It's right yeah. in between. Can you do this? Are you okay? Are you gonna make it through 14 burgers? It smells good, but I don't oh. know if I'm ready. Oh. Let's try them. This is the Glam Burger Classic. That's lovely. That's so good. It's a lot of meat, but it tastes delicious. Mm. I think the onion is good. This simple. You can't mess up a simple burger. You go on, you keep going. Oh no, not this again. Hey, all right. Not the puppet. What, what, what. All right. We, that was the classic burger. That was a classic burger. We love burger. it. We love it. What's the next one, Ryan? The next burger is the old fashioned. What the f is the last one called? That was the classic. classic. Oh. Now call me old fashioned. But this is one we should eat Lady in the Tramp style. This one does not have the onion like a classic does. Lettuce, tomato, but for the most onion, part, pickle, mayo. It, it has red onion, mustard. but it does not have the, the uh. So I usually like to bring a little chaos when I come, but once you're this late in the menu, there's no point in it. Lettuce, tomato. I don't, in that dynamic, I'm not needed. <laughs> you have to be the straight man now. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> surprised me, it was so close to my face. I don't usually order. A burger at Cheesecake Factory. It's delicious. Now I'm realizing I've made terrible mistakes in my life. It's delicious. It's a lovely burger. Lovely. Luck be a burger tonight. Luck be a burger tonight. First luck be a burger tonight. Luck be a burger tonight. One of the first times I saw Ryan perform, he was Frank Sinatra. singing that song. This is a French fry. We'll we were up. both in a play at the same time, and admit I, but I. French fries. And I thought, wow, Ryan's very really talented. And then he sang the song, I'm like, uh-oh, I've got competition. <laughs> so now we're having the... Those fries were good. Smoke house barbecue yeah. burger? Smoking. Smoking. Now, the Lady and the Tramp was only for the old fashioned. And maybe one more. 
Okay, slow down, buddy. Buy me a drink first. Somehow, <laughs> somehow eating the Lady and Jam style made me not think of, oh my God, it looks so big. It looks really beautiful. It's so and big. Really big. It's big. Like, that's a bog burger. I'm gonna put that whole bog burger in my mouth. Straight man. I'm gonna put this whole big burger in my mouth. Hey, what do you think, Keith? That's a big burger. There we go. <laughs> that's that's better. That's back to our regular dynamic. Yeah, I think so. Look, here it comes. I mean, Let's just put it in my mouth. Okay, here it comes, baby. Give you a burger like that, a little sideways, like a taco. This is good. That, that was, was a tasty onions. You made the arc. Wow. The bacon is good, the onions are good, the beef is good, the barbecue sauce is tangy. I feel like I taste some sweet maple. Tastes like a fancy burger at a steakhouse. Mm. I'm gonna bring this over, but I'm also gonna bring over the sweet potato fries, because that's what I wanted. I used to love sweet potato fries. What happened? But I got too popular. Oh, you're not you're one of those people. No, I You're one of those people. I had, it wasn't because it's popular, it was because everybody serves it to them, and I started to miss the classic fry. You're like, oh, I'm into counterculture. I'm cute. Squish. Here comes the squish. <laughs> Mac, Mac and cheese burger. Smells cheesy. Hmm. It might be just a little too much. It's a little too much for me. Maybe it could, if we had the accoutrement of the pickles and the lettuce, the, the, oh, the you're acidity right. would help cut through, because it's a fat, 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 fat. Ooh, look at this, a little like Chipotle AOE Is per, this AOE a French perhaps? dip burger? Looks like it. California's the home of the French dip, too. Oh, the cob and the French dip? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at that rare. Look at the color of that. <laughs> Moo. All right, start one with it. Wow, that's just like the red of that is unreal. Oh. I'm so happy about it. Oh, it's good. I just love a wet burger. Oh my God, it's, it's delicious. It's so wet. Oh. You have to eat another bite. Salty, salty. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> it's so salty. <laughs> good, it reminds me of Prime rib! Oh. This is one of the better French dip experiences. I never had a burger French dip. Mm. Say that one for you? Yeah, please, I'd love to eat more. Okay, good. Got I'm you, buddy. I'm starving. I got you. It looks fake. It does look fake. It looks like plastic toy food. Hey, to be honest, I don't like American cheese. Oh, get over it. I don't I don't like American <laughs> cheese. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna let the people know. Afraid. Get over it, Ryan. Just afraid. gobble it down. <laughs> Give it a chance. But I think American cheese on a grilled cheese is the only cheese worth grilling. No, cheddar cheese is great on a grilled no, cheese. it's too sophisticated and it congeals faster. Oh my gosh, you're a man of the people, Keith. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst. All right, mm. can you feed me? There you go. It's good. Tastes like a Whopper, Dial of the notch. It's the French dip again. Oh, I just, no. <laughs> I thought, <laughs> you almost got me, Ryan. <laughs> He's so food drunk, he didn't know. This looks fun. I love a mushroom burger. Under the cheese. Lift up his little cheese dress. Oh, there's a little pile of them right in the center. Um, My stomach hurts. You got seven more after this. I was describing earlier to the chef that it's kind of like being a monk and just going through the pain. Right. Turns out you can just keep getting hurt. I feel great about my performance. Same. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> French fry from sweet potato. Well. I touched your lips a little bit again. Nice. Good job. All right, this is the mushroom burger. I'm gonna go ahead and try it right away. It tastes like fries, sweet potato fries. Oh, fair, we didn't get them. It tastes fine. I don't think ketchup goes on sweet potato fries, in my opinion. I love ketchup on a sweet potato fry. Hard to disagree. Would you put ketchup inside of a sweet potato? Sure, why not? That's fucking nuts. Here we go, mushroom burger. Another just beautifully cooked burger. Compliments. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It is the head chef of Southern California, so it's definitely gonna be perfect. Mm. I have to go back for a second bite. That's my bite. You took my bite, Ryan. Now I can't bite it. How dare you? It's pretty good. It's not my favorite of the burgers, but I think that this might be my own aversion to <laughs> mushrooms. Here you go, buddy. Get down there. Yeah, you like a baby. A mushroom burger. Did you get any mushrooms? No. Yeah, they're buttery. I don't think you got mushrooms. I did, did mushrooms and mushrooms. I don't think you got any mushrooms. Okay, fine. Thank you. Yeah, I got that Just like taste. integrity of I the show. I had that taste. I tasted that. Here comes the secret sauce. 
Is this chipotle mayo to fry with the fries? Oh, so this is what you're saying sweet potato fries are meant to be eaten with. By the way, I'm not against this. I'm just saying that the ketchup works great with sweet potato fries. Also wonderful. Which is better? It's all based in mood. How am I feeling in that specific moment? I like to switch back and forth. Fair. Thank you. Can I just say one last thing? One thing is that uh, my favorite thing to do for my birthday each year is to get the pumpkin cheesecake at Cheesecake Factory. And they start tomorrow having the pumpkin cheesecake here. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you ever seen a swing dance at a table, have you? Well, Ryan, thanks for coming. What you got going on that you can talk about? Anything? Uh, yeah, right now, I don't know if this is gonna come out by October, but in October, I'm doing the Lottie Platchett Took a Hatchet play at the LGBT Center in Los Angeles. Come and see it any of the weekends in October. The tickets might still be available if you're lucky. Go check out Ryan's play. Ryan, thanks for coming to play here today. This is great. Give you not to do it. It's a really lovely day and I'll see you later. Have a great rest of your time. Bye, Ryan. Bye. One more round for this part of the three-part video series. And now for the rest of the glamorous burgerists, my most glamorous person in my life, Becky Habersberger. Hello. Glamour, glamour, hello, fashion, hello, hello. fashion, hello. glamour. Hello. Scoot hello. on in here. How's Hi. it going? It's going really well, Becky. I feel incredible. Yeah? Yes. You look incredible. Your eyes aren't open. Well, who needs to see when you feel this good? That's true. <laughs> what do you want to eat first? I don't know, you pick, Becky. Chicken? Mm. Oh, I was gonna say the veggie burger. That Start looks veggie. Bad, but sure. It looks fried as heck. It is. It is like your at side. A it fair. looks like a chicken. <laughs> Our side, it, it is clearly not. Everything about this burger looks healthy. No, it does. What? <laughs> yes. It's, other than the fried, you have avocado, asparagus, yeah. cucumber, Vegetables. and tomato. Cheers. Cheers. You go first. <laughs> I'll watch you. Big, big, big bite. Took a big bite. It's not a date night burger. My turn. Mm -mm. That's a good burger. It tastes kind of like falafel. This is good. Oily. I guess it's a little oily. It's oily. I wish veggie burgers weren't so messy, though. Yeah, they're messy. That's the trade. Vegetarians, you can eat too, mm -hmm. but you gotta be a mess. They have 40 vegetarian items on the menu, do you know that? How many vegan options? I don't know, probably not as many. They're looking around, they're like. <laughs> I think they're like. They're like, don't bring it up. I think they're always whispering to each other, it's like, what if Keith dies, or is that gonna be good advertising <laughs> for the company? No. The Impossible Burger. Impossible Burger. Needs to be smashed. Smash it. Too thick. Smash it. Skinny, skinny, skinny. Skinny, skinny. Make your fake burger skinny. Well, the toppings are good, and I can't tell mm -hmm. what that cheese is. That cheese is not real. But 100%. Look at this. You think this is real? I mean, it could be. I don't know. Is it real? It's a vegan it's cheese. It's a vegan cheese. <gasps> Ooh, this la, is la. Strawberry negroni and a whiskey ginger. Whoa. Cheers. Cheers. A whiskey ginger. It's good. Oh, damn. Ooh. Yeah. You love it. I, I would drink this. I would order this. Delish. What's what do you want to do next, Keith? What are you excited for? Oh, I'm excited for What's making your heart sore today, Keith? Let's try the bacon one. Okay. Look at the thick bread on that bun. Look at it from the side. That is, oh, don't put, what are you doing? It's me, I'm my, a little hamburger. Oh, my God, it went on you. Uh-oh, <laughs> how embarrassing. Wow, hold bacon, on. Bacon, bacon. This is a bacon. We call this pork belly in the biz. Pork belly. Do you know what another kind of chain is? I learned this on jury duty. The kind that you tie somebody up with in your basement? No. What do you call a Hooters or like a Twin Peaks? I know the answer, or... but I want you to say it. It's a restaurant. Let's try the bacon, bacon, bacon burger. That's a lot of bacon. This is gonna give you a heart attack. You're gonna die if you eat this. What? It was delicious. It's actually really, the bacon's cooked really it's well. It's so f good. That pork belly bite, my God. Mm hmm. My God. Mm hmm. This yes. is the spicy fried chicken sandwich. You can apparently get it as a buffalo or a different kind of spicy. We got buffalo. It's big. It's not a burger, but it's time to have it anyhow. Fried chicken spicy sandwich, buffalo style. It's good fried chicken. Mm hmm. Wow. The buffalo is really, really good. The breading they use here is really excellent. Mm -hmm. On the fried stuff, like with those chicken oh, yeah. bang bang explosions from earlier, they were fried well and the shrimp was fried well. The batters here are good. Mm -hmm. They should have a baseball team. Skinny delicious, so delicious. Skinny -licious. Make your tiny burger. That is a little burger this, and there's a little salt on it. This there. looks like your dad made burgers mm -hmm. on a Sunday afternoon. This looks exactly like yeah. dad's burger. Mm -hmm. 
Don, are you back there? Donald. Both our dads Mr. are named Howard, Don. Yeah, both, both of our dads are named Don. <laughs> 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 kind of yeah, out. I know, crazy, right? <laughs> now, if you're like me and you had two brothers, when we made burgers, that meant there would be 15 of these and eight hot dogs piled all like a mound on a plate and we'd eat them all. It's like SpongeBob. It was a lot of eating back in the day. Not anymore. Not you gave anymore. that up. Mm -mm. <laughs> Things have changed. I don't do that anymore. Now you don't. Sh you, sh you share instead I share. of roofing. I, I bring my friends in. I have one bite of each item, and that's uh -huh. it. And we uh -huh. can just take turns. I feel like that's one of the smaller things you could fit in your mouth. Okay. That one was bigger. You got a big mouth. Okay. It's fine. It's just a normal, normal f***ing plain ass burger. Yeah. Is it skinny because there's no cheese? Is it skinny because it doesn't taste as good as the other ones? <laughs> the other ones are better. Yeah, I wouldn't get this. No, you think if I just keep throwing food in my cheeks, people won't realize I'm not swallowing it? They'll just get bigger and bigger and bigger. I think eventually it'll come out. I think eventually it'll hide. Swallow it. Swallow. Swallow. Swallow it in your gullet. Please, don't push Put it in your gullet. <laughs> oh, it's very firm. <laughs> It's full. You are like... <laughs> yeah, like an overstuffed teddy yeah. bear. Yeah. Stop tapping it. Sorry. A factory turkey burger? The fa like Cheesecake Factory? Oh, factory turkey, factory Does turkey anybody burger. out there call it the factory? Hey, you want to eat at the factory tonight? Do they do Jack? Jack does. It's the factory turkey. Why don't you gobble me, gobble me, gobble me? It kind of sounds like a religious song. Like where people would Gobble like, me, swallow me, dip down inside of me. <laughs> Sky Dad. Sky Dad. Hi, it's Sky Dad. The, guys, we did it. This is the last fight of today's episode. This is the turkey burkey. The victory. Factory turkey. Victory gobble, turkey. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. We have a lot of goo on top. Oh, that's gooey. Holy cow, that's, that's gooey. That's gooey. Onions and goo. That's goo. There's too much goo for goo. Becky. Goo. Goo. I know what Becky's goo limit is. We blew past it. Ooh. My tummy's so full of goo. It's okay if you like goo. I don't judge people who like goo, but this, this is a sensory a sensory problem. Yeah, it's, Although there's a I bunch of like sauteed onions. Pickled onions. I love this addition. There's two times the onions on this goo bomb. This is the goo bomb that got you. It got you goo. That got you gooed. Becky, I did it. I had one third oh of God. the Cheesecake Factory menu and I feel like it's a normal eat the menu. That's why we divided this up into three parts. Yeah. Well, Becky, what's new with you? I don't know, when's this getting posted? October early. Early October. That was our baby making noise. Yeah. <laughs> Not our baby making noise, like the act of baby making noise, but the baby making noise. Yeah, that's new. Yeah. That's it. We got a baby. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're gonna have another we're gonna set sure set people find out before. in September. <laughs> well, thanks for coming by, Becky. Yeah, thanks. Oh, and watch, um, you can sit with us. Don't forget about that. Thank you, bye. Bye, Becky. Bye, guys. And now it's time for the best and the least best. Rock. Robot rock. It's time now for the best and the least best. Boy, we already had so much. How many things do we have? 73 or something? For 85? 44? 84? We had a lot. We had a lot, and this again was only part one. So there's a part two and part three coming every Saturday after this for two more Saturdays. Every Saturday for two more times. <laughs> okay, every single one, twice more. And you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna believe it is gonna be a party, but let's talk about the best and the least best first. I think, obviously, one of my favorite best of the day was the chicken taquitos. <laughs> I learned that they were cannolis for the savory mouth. They were delicious. I also love the nachos. I also thought the chicken blasters were amazing because I thought they were fish the whole time. I'm unbelievable by that. The French dip burger, I thought it was one of the best French twists on a French dip I've ever twisted into my mouth. That the bacon on that crazy bacon burger, the pork belly bacon, was a delicious bite of bacon by itself. Yum, yum, yum. I love that Thai salad, especially if you're a fan of peanuts. You're gonna love it. I like the Mexico salad with the hidden tostada inside. It reminded me of being a child and opening a box of cereal just to dig through it to get to the toy. Oh, I liked I liked the big old macaroni balls in my mouth and I liked the margarita pizza. Now let's move on to the least best. The least best, there were some, I mean, look. There were too many salads, and they were humongous. A vegan cob, I hated it. Not because of it, because of me, who I am. That doesn't mesh with who I am. I didn't like the Impossible Burger. I mean, all the other burgers are so tremendous, so it's really tough to follow real delicious burgers with any kind of faux burger. But I think they should smash it. Come on, let's do it. Yeah, I mean, there were times where it was just 
too much. And that, that is something that all these chains do, right? Because they're expecting you to be starving, starving, starving when you get here. So they give you everything you want all at once. But when you've had everything literally all at once, you don't want everything all at once. All in all, I mean, it was good. The advertisers especially, all five pages of them. I think it's really good. And I met the chef, he's super nice, and I, it seems like they're cranking out a lot of good food back there. We got two more episodes. We're gonna have lots of really fun guests, so make sure you check back for the next two episodes to see me complete this entire menu. It's a huge experience, and I'm glad you're along the way with me. Once again, get yourself some Keats Not Too Hot sauces. They're delicious and they're not too hot, and you can get them through the link in the description. Let's thank our guests. Thanks to Becky. Thanks to Ryan, thanks to Jared, thanks to Bewo, thanks to Lou Burger, thanks to Marissa, and thanks to me! Also thanks to the amazing people here at Cheesecake Factory, the whole team, Jack, Phil, Desiree, everybody, Nick, uh, everybody, Kaylin, um, everybody. Have a good night, everybody! See you next time at a different Cheesecake Factory. That's right, I'm going to different restaurants for each one of these videos to make sure all these kitchens are up to snuff. I, I saw a video that said it takes 30 minutes to read the menu. I feel like, I feel like it would take longer. Should that be the scoring? All right, honestly. <laughs> Chocolate caramel cheesecake made with Snickers. Original cheesecake wow. rolls.